I had some problems reaming an accurate hole in some Delrin uh, plastic. I need a, a hole which will take a 6mm steel shaft. So I drilled it 5.9mm uh, first and then put a 6mm um, hand reamer through it, which um, went through fine. But unfortunately, that is too tight for the, the rod to fit. It will shove through, but I need it to be a sliding fit. The shaft itself is 5.995 millimeters, as is the reamer. So what happens is the plastic uh, closes slightly after the reamer has gone through, resulting in a tight fit. So what I've done is make a little uh, simple brooch. Let me bring this up here to... Or let me bring the camera down so you can see it more clearly. Uh, give it a minute to, to focus. So you can see the that's the cutting edge of the brooch there. This diameter is a sliding fit in the reamed hole, so this can be shoved in. It goes in uh, that way. Uh, the cutting edge here cuts the hole slightly larger, and then this diameter follows through. So the actual sizes are... There's a bigger drawing here. Wait till that focuses. The part which goes in first is 5.98, that's a sliding fit in the reamed hole. The cutting diameter is 6.02, which results in a, a nice sliding fit for the, the actual rod. And then the follower is 6.000, just a little bit smaller so it doesn't bind. Uh, this was just turned on the, the lathe. I let me try and remember the sequence. I first turned this diameter to fit the, the hole, then used the parting tool to make these two clearance grooves, then turned the cutting edge using the, the top slide on a taper, it's about 10 degree taper, and measuring it with the micrometer. Once that was right, I then turned the follower diameter. So, quick uh, demonstration of how it works. Let me stick this back up on the tripod. <clears throat> so, let's zoom in. This is our plastic part here. And these large holes are the ones that we need to, to enlarge. So, we put the brooch in. That slides in freely and then we push it through I'll push it like that there and we can pull it through and you can see around the cutting edge there's um, material being removed which you can get off eventually and that is now a nice sliding fit for the the rod. There's no play or anything in it. Uh, this is going to be held with a grub screw anyway, so it doesn't matter if it even even if it is a little bit loose. Try the other side. Try and get rid of that uh, material. I should maybe cut some more clearance on that. I can't do. So. Here we go again. There. And the other side. Both of them work, uh, work great. Okay, I hope that was of interest. Thanks for watching.